Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is your love reading. Let's start. Let's shuffle the deck five times for you. If you are new here, welcome. And I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. So, shuffling five times for you. This is a love reading. Let's see what is the overall energy two of swords. I think you need to you will make a decision here or you need to make a decision between two people, but you will not be quite sure yet. There's some confusion here. Somebody is ignoring you as well. And they are appearing quite cold and detached. It is coming from this person that cut off the connection completely or behaved in a very harsh way towards you. Now, what is affecting you right now in your subconscious is all this waiting period is not leading to something. It feels like you are being discouraged by all this waiting with little progress or no progress at all. You put so much work and efforts there, but you are not very satisfied where things are going. And what happened in the past? This person caused you lots of overthinking, stressing out about every little details, unnecessary stress and anxiety, I believe. There was confusion. You wanted this connection, but it seemed quite difficult to progress there. Let's see why the Nine of Swords. The Empress, you had love for them, but the love was not that strong from their side. You wanted this connection to grow to something bigger and better, but it was not the same dream from their side, and that was the main challenge. But how do you view this situation? You still have feelings for them, that's why you are staying in the past, and you expect them to have feelings as well towards you, but to be more emotionally stable. Your focus is to be more focused. Uh, what does it mean? Taking your power back. Being in charge. Not putting happiness in the hands of other people. Being more determined being more decisive. That is your focus. Your fear is being heard again. And that is what you fear the most when you pour the heart to a connection in a very honest, genuine way and they just mess with it. That is very unfortunate. There may have been some pain in the past, let's hope it was not a third party situation, but you fear to be vulnerable to love again. Now, what about the current energies? I see some rapid changes here. Somebody is coming towards you. It seems like fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. They have lots of passion, but take it slowly. Don't uh, have much high expectations. It is a Knight of Wands, not the King of Wands or Queen of Wands. Don't have high expectations because, yes, this person is interested towards you. They want to chase you and show compliments and are passionate. But they have this other side of the coin at the same time, like not being that reliable. It can be possible. This person is coming from a painful ending in their love life and let's hope they are not wanting to distract themselves by jumping into a new connection but let's see what is the good thing coming to you page of swords why the page of swords there's some communication happening in the near future that will bring more clarity and answers to you with a person you have feelings for I have, I have air and water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. 
Yes, communication is happening with somebody that has been very stubborn and withdrawn from you. A person that you may have not heard for quite some time. Now, I have two stories here with that page of swords. Either there will be some communication that will bring you more clarity to the whole situation, or you will get to have some information from the outside that will bring more clarity to you. That will be the missing uh, part of the puzzle. And you will complete the puzzle, by the way. You will have more clarity and I think you will be more decisive what to do with this situation. Now let's jump to this person that is currently in your mind. Let's see about their thoughts and energies towards you. So if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. You can make a donation if you like the videos as well. Uh, thank you very much in advance. It really does help a lot this channel to to grow and for me it helps to continue doing this uh, job, uh, doing videos every day, even Saturday and Sunday. So what about this person? What are they thinking about at this moment? Knight of Pentacles. They are thinking to take it slowly, not to rush. Not to rush the process. So in fact, they may have paused the communication. Uh, it seems like they are walking steadily, slowly coming towards you, but not immediately. Let's clarify anyway. Five of Wands, uh, the main reason for this is that they are fear, they have fears about uh, dramas reappearing. This person is looking for long-term commitment there, but something happened in that connection with you that, that damaged it, like there was some dishonesty, cheating, or lying to each other that really destroyed all those hopes about a long-term commitment. The drama started very quick after a discussion. Some conversation led to dramas and that damaged the relationship. They think a lot about that. They even think that by starting communication with you will lead to dramas. But they feel quite sad, quite sad that it happened like that. Sorry. Yes, they feel sorry, disappointed. They have this energy of being, uh, feeling down, feeling sad. They have lost the trust in love in general. I think they are not being quite open to new opportunities that much even though they have opportunities there, they are taking it one step at a time in that uh, in their love department. They are not rushing any process or getting to know new people. It was hurtful for them, that kind of uh, what happened in the past with you. Wheel of Fortune. They are trying to focus at their work. They are trying to start a new life. I think that they will just keep waiting for now. So the time frame for this reading is the end of October. They want to see some manifestation here in this situation with you, maybe some communication or some progress, but I don't see them taking action. Instead they are choosing distraction. Instead they are choosing work as a distraction. They reflect a lot, they desire a reunion with you. There was a long-term commitment here, something that seemed stable, very stable from the outside, but, but it didn't work that well. So you think this person is ignoring you, that they are behaving cold and detached. In fact, they feel sad they don't want to rush into dramas. But I'm getting you getting more clarity very soon about 
the story that bothers you a lot. Either there will be some communication or some information that you didn't uh, know before. I, I don't see it as um, some secrets being revealed. No, it's not that bad. But some more information that uh, will bring you more clarity to make a clear decision about where you want to move with this connection. I will continue now this reading and extend it with more details where I want to view about feelings, about how they view you, about their intentions, uh, about the energies around them, about the energies around you, about the energies that you share with each other as well. If you want to watch the extended, you can find it now. It is in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.